It's what you'd have dinner with an old boyfriend. What's the big deal? No, no, it's not just an old boyfriend. It's the old boyfriend. He's a professional motocross racer. It's been on ESPN, too. I cannot compete with that. <laughs> you know, I, I've never been in here on a Monday night. There's, uh, there's an awful lot of blokes, isn't there? Maybe Charles running a Monday night football special. Maybe San Francisco is playing. <laughs> you were... Is that you? Donald! Hey, you Mike, this is Donald from my work. I am so glad you've come out. Well, you know, I have to come out every day to go to work. <laughs> oh, I knew you were gay. Beg your pardon? No one at work believed me, but I told them I'm gay. I know these things. I have gay dark. Um, well, I, uh, I think your gay dar uh, might be malfunctioning. Uh, I'm not gay. I'm British. <laughs> A lot of people confuse the two. <laughs> okay, then what are you doing at a gay film society dinner? Gay film, who's it? <laughs> we meet here for dinner every Monday night before our movie. Oh, um, no, we're, we're not here for the film society. I, I, I'm just here with my roommate. Please, you, and I prefer life partner. <laughs> no, I don't believe you. You are so clearly a breeder. Mm -hmm. well, wait, hang on. Well, how come I can be gay and he clearly isn't? Well, where do I start? Okay, uh, the hair's a mess, the clothes are a disaster, his posture hey, is all... Hey, I might not be gay, but I have feelings. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, Donald, I have no problem with you, or, or anyone being gay for that matter, but uh, the only reason we come here is because one of our best friends works here. Hey, what's up, handsomes? <laughs> yeah. I'll, uh, I'll leave a flyer for the gay rodeo on your desk at work. Okay. <laughs> Joe, what's with the shirt? Oh, uh, tips, man. <laughs> Monday night's a gay crowd. You want to make some cabbage? You guys to show some abage. <laughs> told everyone at work that I'm gay and they believed him. I mean, can you imagine me? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what? What? Come on, what do you mean? You and we know you're straight, but a lot of people think you're gay when they first meet you. You're a gag fight. Total gag fight. Excuse me, what? A gag fight? G-A-G-F-I. Gives a gay first impression. <laughs> and in your case, a second and a third. <laughs> Come on, give me one example of something that I do that's gay. Oh, and you do run kind of funny. I do not. Actually, you kind of do. <laughs> you keep your arms in real close, you know, like, like you're a T-Rex or something. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll have you know, I was on the university track team. That's yes, where they had a nickname for you. Gay Ewan. <laughs> I always thought they were going, yay, Ewan! <laughs> Ewan, you gotta face it. You have some gay traits, you know? You're handsome, polite, well-dressed, sophisticated. Those are British traits. A lot of British men come across gay. <laughs> yeah, like you. <laughs> Boy George. <laughs> Rupert Everett and Elton John. <laughs> Benny Hill. <laughs> Benny, really? That's what I heard. Him and the little old dude. Well, you think he was always chasing him around? <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Rachel. Hey, listen, um, I didn't get a chance to tell you, but that skirt you were wearing at work today was smashing. Well, you want to cancel our date? Why? No, I don't want to go shopping for shoes. <laughs> no, don't listen to Donald. I'm just British. 
So Cole said he'd meet us at the restaurant. Uh, do I have to do this? Why are you being so weird? He's just an old boyfriend. I've met your old girlfriends before. Okay, how did that make you feel? Smart and pretty. <laughs> anyway, he's taking us to Barker's for steaks. See you at 7.30, Kate. Uh, I, I, I don't want to meet this guy. He races motorcycles. He's a thrill seeker, a man's man. He's probably 6'2", 210, blonde hair and big muscles. I'm sorry if I'm turning you on, you. <laughs> Come on, Mike. What's with the look? What? I like to get dressed up once in a while. Oh, please. You didn't dress this nice for my grandfather's funeral. <laughs> Neither did your grandfather. He was a nudist. <laughs> Those were his wishes. Hey there, Lizzie. Coley! Oh, hi! <laughs> it's so good to see you. Cole, I want you to meet Mike. Oh, hey, Mike. Nice to meet you. It's better to meet you. <laughs> Have a seat. Oh, thanks. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Stas? Terrible. I just got in a huge fight with D'Artagnan's groomer, that mean, nasty little shrew. I asked for a free-flowing mane with a tasteful bow, but she put his hair up in braids and beads. He looked like Venus Williams. It took an hour to comb out. Stas, can I ask you a question? Do people sometimes think that you're homosexual? Check yourself. No, I, I just mean that people must question your sexuality because you're sophisticated, erudite, urbane. No, no one ever questions my sexuality. Even though you have a standard poodle that you keep fastidiously groomed? You. When you're comfortable with your manhood, you can have any dog you want. And I choose you, my little D'Artagnan, I do it. So no one ever asks if you're gay? You and are, are you hitting on me? Am I what? I mean, I knew you were a gag five, but I just thought you were British. But the new 450 uses an automatic centrifugal decompressor. So when the engine's running at a low RPM, like when it's kick-started, one exhaust valve is held partially open, but as soon as you give it a little juice, both valves open for maximum output. Another fascinating motocross story. Uh, Supercross. I race Supercross. But you're right, it is fascinating. And it's growing in popularity, you know. Five years ago, people never heard of guys like Benji Hanahan, Rick Hankman, Lulu Wells. Now they're practically household names. Yeah, I just got myself a pair of Air Lulus. I'm sorry, sir. Your card's been declined. Oh, wow. This is embarrassing. Oh, no. I'll... Please, please, allow me. No, I couldn't. No, no. This is my pleasure. <laughs> ah, see. Which one shall it be tonight? Visa or Discover? Because they both work. <laughs> well, excuse me. I've got to go drain the carburetor. Dinner, $66. Cocktails, $22. Picking up the check after her old boyfriend's credit card has been denied? Priceless. Stop gloating. I'm not gloating, I'm trash talking, like when Rick Hankman beat Lulu Wells. <laughs> what did you ever oh. see in that guy? All he ever talks about is motorcycles. Well, there wasn't much time for talking. All we did was ride his motorcycle and have sex. Huh? Oh, hey, I was 19. You remember. I mean, who needs a deep relationship when you're doing it four times a night? Hey, I've got to be in Hartford for a tire signing early tomorrow. Can't stay up all night like I used to. All right, night, Lizzie. Hey, thanks for dinner. Next time I'm in town, I'll take you out of my motorcycle. You ride, don't you? Not as much as you. It's not bad. Bring the arms down a little lower. 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 
power like you like women. <laughs> Look, this is a serious situation, Chow. I, I believe Donald now has a crush on me. How do you know that? A man just knows. <laughs> Dude, that was fruitier than Hawaiian punch. <laughs> I'm going to ask Donald to meet me at Keenon for dinner on Monday night. Set him straight, so to speak. What, you mean gay night? Yes, I chose gay night to show him that I'm not homophobic. You really want to show him that you're not homophobic? After you two make love, spoon till sunrise. You know, I'd smack you one right now, but I'm afraid my slap might be more girly than my run. About this. I'm sorry I even mentioned it. No, no, it's no big deal. I'm just very curious. Was it four times in 24 hours or was it like dust till dawn? Mike, what do you want me to tell you? I just want to know why we never do it four times a night. Well, I'd be happy to, but it's uh, kind of up to you. <laughs> Because here I was thinking that I didn't want to tire you out because, baby, I've been holding back. What's with the gay running? It's not gay. It's British. I'll be in your room. What are you doing? I'm trying to butch up my rum. Well, you might want to lose the lover boy headband. Yeah, that's my headband. And if loving lover boy is wrong, I don't want to be right. So, uh, how was your dinner with Liz's ex? Oh, it was, uh, it was great, until I found out that he and Liz used to do it four times a night. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. I mean, the most I've done is three, and that's when I was 17. And the first one was off a slow dance. So. <laughs> Anything more than two is just showing off. My record's eight in a day. <laughs> Eight? With another human being? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I misunderstood the question. Mike, are you coming? Well, it sounds to me like you've got a challenge ahead of you. Yeah. I have to put some numbers on the board, some notches on the bedpost, put another candle on the sex kick, add some pork rinds. Yeah, I get it, Chuck. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, so, uh, what's the score? Three? Four? Well, let's see. Cole did four, but Mikey did more. Five? <laughs> Morning. Morning. I'm late for a meeting. I gotta go. Mm, we'll have a great day. I'll try, but it'll be tough to top last night. Stud. Hmm. <laughs> Bye, Ewan. Bye. See you at five. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yep, just call me Mikey five times. <laughs> of course, you realize you've uh, raised the bar. Oh, yeah, I raised it five times. <laughs> no, 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 what I mean is Liz didn't say that she and Cole had sex four times one night. She had sex four times a night. Yeah, well, she wouldn't actually expect me to... Is she some kind of animal? <laughs> She'll never be satisfied with the old Mike again. I've created a monster. Yes, yes, you have. Dr. Shagenstein. <laughs> Hot stuff coming through. And I'm not just talking about me. <laughs> hey. Look, um, Donald, th the reason I asked you to meet me here tonight was so that I could tell you once and for all, I am absolutely and unequivocally not gay. They say that when people deny it too much, it means they're gay. <laughs> yes, well, that leaves me with two options. I can admit that I'm gay, which means that I'm gay, or I can deny it, which, according to you, means I'm gay. <laughs> so we're in agreement. <laughs> No, no, we're not in agreement, and I wish you would stop spreading rumours to the contrary. Stop spreading rumours to the contrary? That's pretty gay. <laughs> no, it's British. I speak the Queen's English. Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, Donald.
Donald, I understand this must be very difficult for you. I mean, it must be terrible to want someone that you can't have. What? Well, Donald, this whole thing started because you fancy me. You think that I fancy you? Ew. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Good, well then that's fine, then this is settled. Yes. But what do you mean, ooh? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're not my type. Forgive me for sounding conceited, but um, I'm everybody's type. <laughs> Maybe British gay men are different than Americans, but uh, we like men who are uh, a little more uh, manly. <laughs> like him. Chow? You've got to be kidding me. He makes me feel safe. Safe. The man's afraid of pigeons. He calls them winged messengers of death. I'm sorry, Ewan, but I think that most men in here would agree with me about you. Anyway, thanks for dinner. Uh, you're, you're welcome. Not his type. <clears throat> Hi, guys. Um, excuse me. Um, do you, uh, do you find me attractive? No. <laughs> Come on! I'm a choice piece of work. I'm every man's fantasy. I'm candy to you guys. Leave us alone. Where's Chow? He'll protect us. <laughs> you sure you two are both gay? Is this guy bothering you? Yes, he is. Chow. <laughs> Thanks, Chow. Chow. <laughs> Yo, Mike, you look like hell. Too much sex. Every night this week. It's like three, four, five times. This is insatiable, huh? I knew it. I, I, I cannot keep going like this. You want me to take a crack at her? The sad thing is, part of me wants to say yes. Come on, Mike. This is your field of expertise. You're Mikey five times. <laughs> All right, look, I have been lying to you. I can't do it five times. I have been faking it. <laughs> well, what, what do you mean, faking what? The fireworks, Liz. I mean, I, I can do the first two, that's easy, but then three, four, and five, I'm just faking her brains out. No, 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 no Mike, Mike, a, a man can't fake it. I can, all right, it's dark, you know, and Liz, is, she's just busy getting to where she needs to go. <laughs> Dude, I think I can help. <clears throat> you should get some Chinese herbs. They increase potency. Does that work? Yo, last time I checked, there was two billion Chinese people. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it, it's impossible. A man can't fake it. No, and it's easy, man. I actually practice in the mirror. You just, you know, you kind of clench your butt cheeks a bit, and then you start moaning. Uh... We get it, we get uh, it. Uh, 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 uh. I'll have what he's having. So what are you drinking? Uh, this is just a little uh, herb tea that Chow gave me. Oh, can I have some? No, God, no. Well, come back to bed. All right, here we go. You ready for number three? You mean two? Two, three, five, who's counting? Huh? I don't know about you, but I feel like breaking some records tonight. Oh, yeah, something's gonna break. Break right off. <laughs> Look, Liz, Liz, I, I, I can't do this anymore. What? I can't have any more sex. Liz, I'm not a machine. Well, why don't you just fake it like you did all the other times? What are you talking about? Oh, come on, Mike. I knew you were faking the entire time. The moaning and convulsions. And that face you made? You look like that picture of Lee Harvey Oswald getting shot. <laughs> why didn't you say something? Uh, look, I am sorry I ever told you about me and Cole. But when I saw your reaction, I knew the only way to get you off this kick was to wear you down. 
You wore me down, all right. I'm practically a nub. <laughs> Listen, I just didn't want you to think that Cole was the best sex of your life. Oh, Mike, I don't think that. It's about quality, not quantity. One time with you is better than 50 times with Cole. Really? Yeah. Because we have an emotional connection. Yes. Yes, we do. Hmm. So Cole, uh, he was no good. What was he, Speedy Gonzalez, huh? No, nothing like that. And what? Well, we were just limited in positions. Ah, he had no imagination. <laughs> no, it was just kind of uncomfortable. Cole was just so big. <laughs> well, Liz, I can't fake that. So good night. <laughs> Look, Rachel, I don't care what Donald told you. I'm not gay. Ewan, that's not what... Seriously, I mean it. I'm not gay. Ewan, I don't mind. I'm not gay. It doesn't bother me that you're gay. But if you gave me a chance, I bet I could make you switch. <laughs> you got me, I'm gay! for you.